Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to determine whether um, the patient has a bi -B pacing or a standard ventricular pacing uh, from the right ventricle based on the patient's EKG. So um, the way you determine this is to think about um, where the leads are placed and what the complexes look like on the EKG. So in a standard um, RV lead, it is um, goes to the right ventricle and then the impulse is generated from the right ventricle that slowly depolarizes the left side as well so um, if you think about the lead v1 it is placed on um, the right side of the heart and then v6 is mostly on the left side um, so if your ventricle depolarizes from right to left um, it gives an appearance of a left button branch pattern and that's because it, it kind of looks like the left side took longer or had a delay in its activation. So what you would see in the EKG is that since the impulse is traveling from right to left away from, lead, uh, from V1, um, you would see a negative deflection in V1 and um, a predominant like left bundle pattern most of the leads so v2 v3 you sometimes also see um, a broad r wave in these one v5 and v6 but in this particular ekg you can't see that and so this is how um, a standard rv lead um, based ekg looks like um for by v pacing which um in which you have a standard rv lead that goes to the right ventricle and then you have the lv lead that goes to the coronary sinus so the coronary sinus kind of wraps around the back of the heart um, and therefore um, you have this um, impulse generated from the posterior aspect of the heart and from the left side and then it slowly um, activates the right side as well um, usually in by v pacing um, depending on which lead is activated first um, the morphology of the qrx complex can vary significantly um, again we have the v1 lead here v5 and v6 over here um, so if the patient has um, if the left ventricular pacing occurs simultaneously or prior to the RV pacing, then um, you will see that because the impulse is traveling from the left side of the heart towards the right, you will see a positive deflection in lead V1 followed by a negative deflection which can happen. Um, and then since V5 and V6, the deflection or the impulse is going away from V5 and V6, you will usually see um, a negative um, def deflection or a QS complex in V5 and V6. Um, because, um, because the um, lead one kind of looks at the heart from right to left, um, the impulse is going from left to right and that's why in lead one you will also see a negative deflection which is a QS complex and um, the QS complex in lead one is more definite for left or biventricular pacing. And there's a lot of other things going on in the EKG as well but we can discuss it in another video and here is two examples so you can maybe pause your um, video and go through these ekgs and then um, think about the answer and then I'll, I'll reveal the answer in a little bit so this is the first ekg and if you were thinking by v pacing you were absolutely right you see the um, initial um, positive deflection in lead V1 and then you see um, the um, QS complexes in V5 and V6 and you also see a QS complex in lead 1.
You also see this little spike over here, it's the atrial spike, and then this spike over here is a ventricular spike. All right, what about this EKG? If you are thinking about the standard RV pacing, then you are again right. It is demonstrating a left bundle branch morphology in most leads. Um, in this particular EKG, you can also see um, the R wave in lead one. You don't see it in V6. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video is helpful and stay awesome.